in this video i'm going to discuss a very interesting project called as dspy dspy is a programming framework open sourced by the stanford nlp group this project uses pythonic syntax and encapsulates prompting techniques like chain of thought and self reflection this project is primarily caters to solving advanced tasks with language models and retrieval models this project unifies techniques for prompting and fine tuning language models and approaches for reasoning and tool retrieval augmentation in dspy all of these are expressed through a small set of pythonic modules that compose and learn it's primarily a free flowing python code they also provide a very good Google Colab notebook where you can see it in action. I will drop the link to both the GitHub repo which I just shown you and also this uh, notebook. In the first step, all you need to do is to import this after installing it, of course, and then you can simply start using it by writing your own Python code, specifying the model. Now, what it does is the DSPY I mean is it provides composable and declarative modules for instructing language models in a familiar Pythonic syntax. So in a sense, it upgrades prompting techniques like chain of thought, as I mentioned earlier, from hand adapted string manipulation tricks into truly modular generalized operations that learn to adapt to your tasks. And there are various task examples, as you can see from this code. So in this one, they just loaded around 20 example and dev set, which is consists of 50 examples. And each example in their training set contains just a question and it's human annotated answer. And you don't need much labeling in this DSPY where it really offers you good simplicity and ease of implementation. For complex tasks, DSPY can routinely teach powerful models like GPT 3.5 and local models like T5 Base or even Llama 2 models to be much more reliable at tasks. DSPY will compile the same program into different few short prompts and or fine tune for each language model. The installation is fairly simple. If I go back to the GitHub repo, all you need to do is to install it with this and then for, in order to use it you can simply follow these examples from this notebook i hope that you liked it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you